Indeed. What's lovable about him is he's himself. I think that that's a pretty endearing quality. Would I be friends with him in high school? Yeah, go on. If he'd have me, yeah. The guitar sequence in episode nine was really fun. I remember it being kind of pretty daunting when I read the scripts and kind of thought that, uh, how have they come up with this? This better be good, otherwise it's gonna you know, fall pretty flat. So I went, I went and bought a guitar and started practicing as much as I could. And on the day of, I remember there was just a real ex sense of excitement on set and everyone, because it was the first time that like, people had kind of been in a kind of live music, live music, since the pandemic so everyone was kind of it felt a bit like a concert really. being on top of the caravan with Gaten and just getting to play you know master of puppets in the upside down isn't uh, something you do every day I remember telling myself like really try and be here as much as you can because this is this is a, a really rare moment and it was so fun hello Joe Quinn from Stranger Things we're going to be going through the top five heroic moments of volume two of season four first heroic moment from volume two is Dustin going back to save Eddie he, when he goes back into the upside down. It's got to be. He knows that all of those bats are up there and he's still going there because he's he loves his friend. And that's pretty heroic in my book. Working with Gaten was a treat. He's a great guy and wonderful to hang out with and very funny and doesn't take himself seriously. He's always cracking jokes and yeah, like, it, it, I didn't really find it hard to kind of, I didn't have to crowbar any chemistry in there. I can't speak for him. He might have had to work pretty hard, but he's a very affable man. You know? The special thing about that moment where Eddie grabs Dustin and tells him never change, it just feels quite funny because it's obviously like I'm talking about my work here. Yeah? So I feel like I can't help but sound like gr grossly nasty. But I don't know, I think kind of what's special about that moment is it's kind of, personally speaking, played with kind of doubt and kind of self-criticism. like What's lovely about people that care about you and friends is that they love you regardless of kind of, you know, when you're having a bad day or when you're having a good day. And I think kind of that moment is just him telling him to kind of just stay, be yourself because we love our friends. And kind of when you see them on good days, it's the best. And when you see them being unkind to themselves or not backing themselves, it's frustrating and it makes you feel sad because you know, but they're great. We're not always our kind of number one fans. I guess there's something just very kind of poignant about that. I really liked the kind of, Gateson and I really wanted to kind of like lean into kind of the physical aspect of kind of the way that guys express love to each other, which kind of tends to be like quite physical. And yeah, we just kind of tried to get like a little wrestle in there before. And why do I think that Eddie and Dustin are heroic? Well, they are, you know, I think kind of to volunteer yourself <laughs> to try and get however many hundreds of demo bats to come and fly at you, that, you know, it doesn't get more heroic than that. Another heroic moment from volume two of season four is Eddie sacrificing himself to the bats, definitely. Everyone knew when we started properly filming because the scripts were written during the hiatus. Yeah, I knew Eddie's fate before we kind of really started going. So, so that was kind of helpful, but a little bit gutting. I thought like if I kind of worked hard enough, maybe they might invite me back for season five, but it felt like they'd already uh, decided what they were going to do with me, but, but, but that was okay. There was a time before me and there will be a time after me and they'll be fine. We're very lucky to have that time together. Filming Eddie's death, it was a treat really. It was great fun. It was a bit weird logistically. We filmed the whole kind of like back sequence and the Metallica sequence and one kind of night shoot. And then towards the end of that night shoot, I mean, we were like trying to cram so much into it. And then at the end of that shoot day, as it were, day, I kind of went into um, makeup surgery and I had kind of five brilliant makeup artists kind of putting stuff all over me and stuff in my mouth and uh, contact lenses. And then I was kind of wheeled out, chucked on the floor. We had kind of maybe the 20 minutes before the sun came up. We managed to get my coverage, but we didn't manage to get Gaten's. So then months later, we shot Gaten's coverage. Yeah, so there was a kind of big gap, which is quite weird. It was obviously a, a, a great treat to be able to do that with, with Gaten because he's fun. Yeah, he's amazing. Am I satisfied as an actor with the way that uh, Eddie's been received? Yes, yeah, I am really. Um, but what I'm, satisfied is a dangerous word. I'm, I'm relieved. 
people seem to have responded well to him and liked him, which is great. But yeah, I think it, it you know, it's been a long time. It was a long shoot. So I think kind of, I'm very relieved that kind of people have been so kind of welcoming. But I think kind of if ever you feel kind of too satisfied with yourself and your work, that's when, you know, stuff gets a little ropey. So I'm, I'm relieved. Another heroic moment from Volume 2 is, I think, Nancy's shotgun takedown of Vecna. I think that bit is pretty heroic. I remember seeing some footage of Matt doing that kind of earlier on in the shoes and just thinking that's going to look because she just looks, she's just, just just working that thing like, I don't know, <laughs> like Keanu Reeves or something. It's amazing. Joining a cast like this where they have become galvanised through this kind of, this crazy experience that they went through, like they had no idea how successful the show would be when they joined it. Um, so I think that they feel very kind of close. That I kind of initially thought that they might be a little um, cliquey maybe, but they weren't at all. They were very welcoming and, and kind and reassuring. So, so that was that was great. Another heroic moment from season four, volume two, is just Eleven generally. She's just one heroic moment after another. She spoils us with her heroic moments. I think the heroic moment that jumps to mind is when she finds it the strength within herself to fight Vecna through the beautiful words of Mike, played by Finn Wolfhard. That moment gutted me. Yeah, it devastated me. I was a wreck. That moment where Vecna is about to have at Max and then gets sent sideways is a pretty heroic moment. She has so many questions about herself and kind of and is uncertain about so many aspects of herself, but is gifted with this extraordinary power. We find that captivating as an audience. I just think that Millie's performance is just breathtaking as well. I think it's impossible to not, to not be captivated by that. The last heroic moment of Volume 2 is when Max uh, volunteers herself to bait Vecna. I don't want to go in the Creel house. I really wouldn't want to go in there. But she goes in there willingly with nothing but a lamp and two friends, one of which is an infant. So I think that takes a lot of bravery. We need people of all different genders, races, being heroes. And that's just that's just, just what, what, how it should be. I guess the fact that we're still commenting on it means that there's still a long way to go. But I think it's just it's just brilliant. I mean, they're just, they're fantastic actors and they deliver. I think Sadie is obviously, has had a lot of heavy lifting this season and is getting the, the response that she deserves. Millie is clearly a kind of divinely gifted actor. I think a lot of the show's success is based on not exclusively her performance at all but I think she kind of elevates she brings something that is otherworldly to this performance and I think kind of for young women to see themselves represented on screen like that it can do no harm can it I think that it shows collectively that young people can really be heroes I think in times of trouble and difficulties in our lives we all have our own Vecnas you know we don't know what's around the corner um, but you always have your friends there God willing to help you in times of adversity heroism is leaning on people and sometimes asking for help and sometimes being there for people and I think that's kind of the some of the kind of prevailing themes in Stranger Things this show showcases that beautifully